What is it you want, Maxine? I can sense you there. Well, hello to you too, Marcus. You know why I'm here. To discuss the wedding of your son and my niece. Like I've told you before, Maxine, everything is all prepared. I still don't like these old traditions, but we will follow them, considering we want to join our two covens. Well, good. I'm glad to see that you see it my way now. The old ways are the better ways. Even in this future, we need to stick together as witches and warlocks. All right, now that we got that out of the way, Maxine, can you excuse me? I need to get training with my boys. You can show yourself out, I trust. Yes, of course I can. It's always a pleasure, Marcus. I really wish there was a way out of this, son, for both of us. Sorry, you were just going to love me and leave me then, eh? Not even a kiss goodbye. Oh, please, Trey, do not be so overdramatic. We do this every time. I have to get back to my coven. Well, don't worry, Nila. Pretty soon we're going to just be one coven. Then you don't have to leave. Yes, that might be true. But until then... I will see you another day, Trey. Yeah, she definitely wants me. And once our covens are together, she's gonna be my wife. Wait, Sand, I'm a bit confused. What am I doing here? What are we here to talk about? The wedding? No, oh, Wyatt, we're not here to talk about the wedding. Uh, there's a problem. I can't marry her. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. Did you say you can't marry her? Zane, is that, that's insane. You have to marry her. It's the only way the covens will be joined together. Sorry, Wyatt, but I don't love her. I'm in love with someone else. And my dad's really going to be mad because she's human. That's why I'm going to need your help. You're the only one I can trust. What are you insane, Xander? How can you fall in love with a human of all people? Your father is going to blow a gasket and you want me to lie to him. I don't think I can do that. All right, Wyatt. I'm sorry I put you in that position. But I just need a little time so I can get her to safety. Please, just help me out. Stall my father. Hey, fine. I will do this for you. Just a story. But tell me, Sandra, is this girl? Is she really worth it? I promise you, Wyatt, she is. So you're absolutely sure that we're not going to get in any kind of trouble, Cole? Come on, seriously, Nika, you have to trust me. These books are here to be read. Don't worry about it. Marcus is not going to get mad. Yeah, besides that, Nika, as soon as Xander marries your cousin, everything's going to be great, because then you'll be a member of our coven. Yeah, that'll be great, Cole. I look forward to being a member of your coven. And maybe you'll take me out on a real date instead of pretending with this library? What are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not pretending anything. I'm that obvious, huh? So, are you going to find me that book I want? Yeah, absolutely. Whoa, what did that statue ever do to you? Well, I don't know. Maybe I was pretending it was you, Miles. Come on now, Nea. You know you like me. Hey, Miles, don't flatter yourself. You can show yourself out, right? Come on, Nea. How long are you going to hold a grudge? I told you, it wasn't my fault. I'm sorry I missed our date. Sorry, not good enough. I enjoy watching you squirm. Later, Miles. Bam, she's really going to make me squirm. Uh, you know how much I love you, Nora, right? And I want you to marry me. Uh, oh my god, yes, Tyler, I will definitely marry you. I love you so much, Nora. You know, Tyler, and I love you too. Xander, I got your message. What's wrong? I'm so sorry, Jenny. I put you in danger. I've got to fix this. I've got to get you somewhere safe. You're saying things didn't go well with your coven. And now you got to hide me? Um, I'll go wherever you go, Sander. You know that. Yeah, well, to say things did not go well is an understatement. My dad wants me to marry a witch from another coven. thing of it is, he doesn't believe in the old ways. He hated those. I don't know why he's making me do this. Oh, Sander, I am so sorry that I am causing all this trouble between you and your dad. Maybe we should break up or something. No, oh, Jenny, I don't want that. You are the best thing to ever happen to me. I can talk to my dad. I can fix this. I just need to make sure that you're safe. Okay, then, if this is what you really want, I'll go wherever you tell me. We 
we'd better go. Lisa, what are you doing here? Oh, Wyatt, you know that I can always sense when there's something wrong with you. What is it? Sorry, Nessa. I can't tell you. Don't worry. I'm fine. Oh, clearly you're nervous and you're upset. What is it? You can tell me anything. No, Nessa. I can't. I'm sorry. Now I have to go. Oh, Wyatt, what have you done now? Xander, just where in the hell have you been? I've had to explain to Maxine why you didn't show up for any of the wedding plans. What's going on? Dad, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to marry her. You don't want this either. Besides, I met someone else. Look, son, I have to do what's best for the coven. And that means you have to do it too. And what the hell do you mean you've met someone else? This is it, Dad. You always do what's best for the coven. You don't give a damn about my feelings. This time, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm not marrying her. I don't understand, Xander. What the hell has gotten into you? Who is this girl? Her name is Jenny. We met a couple of months ago, and she's immortal. And I know what you're going to say, but I don't care about that. Mortal, Xander, are you insane? You know what could happen. And not to mention what Maxine will say when I have to tell her that you refuse to marry her niece. You don't know what you've done, son. You may have started a war. Sorry, Father, but I love her. Damn it. Damn it, Xander, what the hell have you done? I'm supposed to marry Nora. You're ruining everything. For a mortal? Love her, Tyler. I'm sorry if I'm ruining something for you, but this is about me. And I'm not giving her up. Yeah, well, that's just great for you. But you're ruining for the rest of us. You're not the only one who's going to lose somebody that they love. We're never going to be able to see our women again. We're going to be going to war. Do you understand that? Or do you even care? Is she worth it? Tyler, come on. You know the rules are stupid. And if Nora loves you, she's going to go against Maxine. Maxine's the one who wants this. She's the one who's living in the past. And yes, Jenny is worth it. I'll die for her. Wow, you really love this mortal. I hope she loves you as much as you love her. Because you just cost us everything. Sorry you feel that way, Tyler. I have to get to Jenny and get out of here. Well, ladies, I brought you here this morning because the Circle of Nightshade has betrayed us. Marcus's son is refusing to marry my niece. So, we must retaliate. That means any relations that any of you have had with them are over. They are the enemy now. Mistress, surely you can't blame the whole coven for their actions. If I believe that Nora is right, why do we have to blame all of them? Why not just take out Marcus and his son? Maxine, please don't blame Cole. I'm sure he had nothing to do with this. Yes, and even though I blamed Miles for everything, I don't blame him for this. Well, ladies, while I appreciate your love for your men, we still cannot trust them. Until this battle is over, we have to stay away from them. That's my final word. I hate to disagree, but I am not giving up on Wyatt. I will find out what's going on. I know he wasn't really a part of this, and I know our others weren't either. Yes, I agree with you. I don't think we should turn on our men. I think we all need to work together to stop Maxine. She is dead in the old ways. None of us like that, and we know it. All right, Tyler, I want you to prepare the others. This is going to be an all-out war. Maxine didn't take it well that Xander won't marry her niece. So I need you to keep an eye on Xander and find out who this mortal is. Of course I will, Marcus. And what do you want me to do to the mortal? Do you want me to kill her? Wipe her memory? No, I don't want you to do anything to the mortal. I want you to tell me where they are when you find them. And keep this on the down low. I don't want the others to know. Yes, of course, Marcus. And I wouldn't worry about an all-out war. The girls are not going to go against us for Maxine. They don't believe in these old rules either. And they care about us. Yes, well, I hope you're right about that. Just make sure my son is safe. That's all I care about right now. I don't know what Maxine will do. You know I will, Marcus. I'll call you later. I just want you to know, I forgive you, Xander. Moira, what are you doing here? I I'm sorry that I don't want to marry you, but I fell in love with someone else. I know you didn't mean to betray me, Xander, but my aunt will seek revenge on you and your mortal girlfriend. I'm just here to warn you. 
This will be the last time you see me. Wait, Moira, what do you mean the last time I see you? And how does your aunt know about Jenny? What's going on? Sweet Xander, my aunt knows everything. You're in danger, and so is she. You need to flee now. Wait, Moira, you have to tell me. Where is she? What's she planning? Moira. She, oh, no. She knows everything. Jenny. All right, Moira. We have to get ready for war. Where are you, child? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Moira, no. What have you done? Oh, my beautiful niece. I will make them pay. Marcus and Zander. They will die for this. I swear it to you on my life. Keith, there you are, Sander. I'm here to warn you. You didn't hear. Moira's dead. She committed suicide. You've got to run. Maxine's on the warpath. Yes, Trey, I already know. Her ghost visited me last night to warn me. I've got to find Jenny, and we're getting out of here. So I need you to cover me. Come on, Sander, you know I've always got your back, but you're causing a war. Is this mortal worth it? Sorry that I'm messing up you and the other coven members, but she's worth it. I swear, Trey. All right, then. Let's go find your girl and get you the hell out of here. We can find somewhere safe for you. Another planet for now. Thank you, Trey. And tell the rest of the coven I'm sorry, especially my dad. That's it, Marcus! Now you pay for what you've done to my niece! And your son will, too! I'm sorry, Maxine, for what happened to your niece, but I will not give up my son, and you will not defeat me. I'm sorry, and a battle to the death it will be. But this is what you desire, Maxine, and so be it. You may have defeated me for now, Marcus, but I won't give up. That, my dear Maxine, I have no doubt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my son. Sorry, Xander, that I'm taking you away from your dad and your family. I didn't mean to do that. Trust me, you didn't do anything wrong, Jenny, and we will get back to my family. They'll understand. It's Maxine that's the problem, and I'm sorry for that. It's okay, Xander, I understand. She's immortal, and she's never going to stop coming after us. Well, I'm afraid it's more than that. She hated my mother because she was in love with my dad, and she's never going to let this go. The best way to hurt my dad is to hurt me, and that's by killing you. I cannot believe how weak Moira was, killing herself over Xander. I would never kill myself over any man, not even Miles. I'm not so sure Moira killed herself, Naya. I don't think she would do that either. And I think Maxine's not above using her to start a war. What are you saying? That she would actually kill her own niece? That's crazy. Naya, Moira, is not her real niece. She's adopted, and she's doing this to get back at Marcus. I think Xander needs to know the truth. I don't know about that, Nora. If Xander finds out the truth, he's going to lose it. He is way too powerful to be emotional right now. Jupiter's not so bad, right? I mean, it's great. We can hide out here for a couple of months till things die down. Come on, Alexander, you don't have to put on a brave face for me. I'm going to be okay. You're the one who's struggling. I'm sorry, you're the brave one, and I'm over here falling apart. I just can't believe that Moira killed herself over me. I mean, she told me she didn't want this wedding. Do you think that maybe it wasn't a suicide? Do you think Maxine could have killed her just to start this war? Wow, I don't know, Jenny. Honestly, I don't know what Maxine would do. She's insane and dark. But why would she do that? Just because I wouldn't marry her niece. I can explain everything, son, if you'll give me a moment. Dad, what are you doing here? How did you find us so fast? Jenny, just stay here, okay? Sandra, you have to listen to me. I am sorry about everything. But you have to come with me now. Maxine, 
is coming. Dad, this is insane. I don't understand why I have to be part of your fight between you and Maxine. Just because she hated my mom. Oh, Xander, I am so sorry for the lies that I've told you. But I have to tell you the truth before she does. Now. Truth? Dad, what truth? What, what are you talking about? What would you lie about? Dad? Oh, Xander, I am so sorry that I lied to you. But Maxine was so dark, so insane back then. I, I was afraid for you. Dad, I don't understand. Why would you be afraid for me, <laughs> Maxine? Because Maxine is your mother, Xander. I lied about that. But Maxine's my mother. No. No. She, she can't be my mother. Dad, how could you lie to me about that? Xander, I'm so sorry. She can't be my mother. She cannot be my mother. I don't accept that, Dad. Xander, I am so sorry for lying to you. But right now, we have to get out of here because she's not far behind me. No. Me and Jenny are leaving. I'm not going anywhere with you. Get the hell out of my way. Xander, you're glowing.